Hi guys, how are you? I hope all you are doing good. Welcome to the learn code easily. So this video is not for coding. Okay, I am I am making this video because I have to share this the link of my video to one of my to one of the person and he needs the YouTube link and this is not a sponsored video. He needs the link and he wants that I should share the youtube link with him so i thought why should i not make this video and upload it on my own youtube channel and share the link so this video is all about the cookie and google analytics if you are interested in google analytics and to know some and to want some information about the google analytics and the cookie you can see that video otherwise you can skip this video as well it's not a problem so let's discuss the question so my first question is uh, what is what is the role of cookie in our data collection okay and give an example so uh, so I hope that many of you are clear what is Google uh, what is cookies if you are not let me tell Google are the sum data which is stored on the computer of the user in the file format txt and this data is used by the browser when we surfing the internet cookie holds a lot of data example the data of our uh, the configuration of our laptop our latest search user's ip address and its location uh, validation when we came to when we visit so some of the website and there is a form sometimes it is it is automatically getting filled how so because of cookie so cookie stores a lot of information in general it provides the user the most exciting information about his preference example when we uh, when I visit the website of any of Amazon, Flipkart and I search the shoes or cloth, assume if I search the cloth and I, and I choose that website to and I switch to some other website, if you see the advertisement will be shown, the, the all the advertisement or you can say the 99% of advertisement on some website will be only of shoes if you are searching mobile wherever you are going to visit so for you everywhere the shoes advertisement were displayed or are, go are displaying so that is only done with the help of cookie Google for example Google does not hide that your preference are and are used for the advertisement so I hope you are clear that what is cookie and how many information it contains and why we are getting the advertisement everywhere when we searching something and we are getting the advertisement of that item only what we have searched so second what is the difference between the session and the user so give an example users means the unique number of visitor sessions means how many times i visited to a website when a user visits to a website and he have already visited the website so he will not going to be counted as a user uh, he will not count it be a new user he will be counted as a returning user but yes he is a user but if he visit the website 100 times so that 100 is the session so users means how many time uh, users means the number of person who have visited and session means how many times i visited to a website so if i visit a website hundred times so I, I will be counted as a one single user user is same but visits are hundred times 
so the so users are, are the actual person which are landing on any website which means that if someone visits the website 100 times on the same device or browser they they will um, he or she will still be counted as a single user but the visits is 100 but but if the user deletes their browser cookie and returns to the same website then he will be counted as a new user he will not counted be as a, as a single user the same happens if user switches device because when user switches device he will use the browser he, he is going to be use the other browser <coughs> and he will be using or he is using the new web new device then still google analytics count it as a new user not the returning user i hope that is also clear so let me give an example here my mom wants the juice for me okay and i went my mom wants the mango juice and i went to a shop and, and i took the uh, juice for my mother and my when my sister saw that he also she also wanted that I should take one of the glass of juice for her. I went to the same shop and I took the mango juice for my sister. So for the shopkeeper, I am the single user, but my sister is how many times I visited? I have visited two times. So I am the new user. <clears throat> I am the new user, but session is session is different. So but when and what I told when I use the other device or the other browser. If I connect to the example, if I went to the another shop then I will be counted as a new user for him and a new session for him so I hope this is also clear so why does uh, how does the Google Analytics uh, distinguish between the new user and the returning user so in new, uh, so new user means that have been never visited to any website and returning user that have uh, that have been visited your website previously as well so Google Analytics Google tracking snippet <coughs> looks for the tracking cookie on the user's device if the cookie is present then google assumes that it is a returning user otherwise google creates new one cookie on the user's browser and then after that he will be considered as a new uh, not a new user but he will be considered as a returning user i hope this is also clear now the fourth question is quite interesting if you go to a website that has been that has been implemented with google analytics at the same time if we visit the same website from some other browser then i will be counted as a single user or a separate user or, or a two user so when a user visits to a website with a tracking code google analytics create a random id that is called the client id and that is directly associated with the cookie so when the user changes the browser and browser stores the cookie so this is very clear that there will be going to be create two different cookie on two different browser and cookie and id is directly linked to the cookie so so if cookie is cre creating differently and uniquely on two different browsers then the id is going to be generated that is also be different and id is associated with the user and that id and that id is identified the user so when the id is two then it will be counted as then user will be counted as two different users no matter whether i am visiting the same website again and again but from two different um, mobile or from two different browser i will be counted as two different users i hope this is also clear now the fifth question is what is session and i need to give an example so that i have already told in my i think concept so let me discuss once again so session in google analytics are defined as a total number of visits including the new user or the repeated user so if the same person visits a website 100 times so the session will be handed but the user is single user if i visit the five website 100 times so i will be a returning user uh, so i will be uh, maybe new or returning user depend upon whether i visited the website or not previously but there are 500 session in a complete one day if i visit the five different website uh, 100 times in a day 
सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर आई हैव गिवन गिवन एग्जांपल सो लेट मी गिव एन एग्जांपल वन मोर सो बिफोर गिवन एग्जांपल लेट मी टेल वन वन मोर थिंग गूगल स्टार्ट्स अ न्यू सेशन आफ्टर 30 मिनट और एट द मिडनाइट एज्यूम एग्जांपल एज्यूम इफ आई एम वर्किंग and i went for eating food and i didn't switch off my laptop and also i didn't switch my current website on which i had okay on which i was i haven't closed my laptop i haven't switched my website website is still open laptop is still open if i went for 45 or the 60 minute from the laptop and laptop is still open or assume laptop is uh, still open it does not go off and and it is uh, when i came again it is still open the website is still open the laptop is still open but the session is but the but the second session have been started because google start the session after 30 minute but i came after 45 or 60 minute when i came after 60 minute then this will be my third session assume 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 i am i have uh, open one of the website at 11 p uh, 11 am okay and i worked at 12 uh, and i worked at 11:30 from 11:30 to 12 30 i went for food and i came here at 12 30 minutes so google starts a session after 30 minutes so from 11 to 11 30 one session 11 30 to 12 second session 12 to 12 30 third session but i came at 12 31 so this is my fourth session so if i think that i haven't if i think Uh, but what we normally think it's my first session because i haven't switched off my laptop i haven't went anywhere i haven't means uh, i switched i haven't switched off my laptop i haven't closed my laptop i haven't changed my browser i haven't changed my any i haven't done anything it is still open so why is my fourth session because google might why it is my fourth session because google is start the session after 45 minutes and it is start the session at the midnight assume you log in at your laptop or you start your laptop and you log in on the website at 11:54 and you and at 11:54 your first session has been started and at 11:58 your work is done and it, at 11:59 you are logging you are log out from that website but log out take to 5 minute uh, log out takes 5 minute for you and you log out it successfully at 12:5 so here the session should be one but the session is two how because from 1154 to 1159 is your first session and at 12 your second session has been started and your log out that from 124 so your second session has been start, uh, has been started but you are a single user you are the single user maybe it's a returning user maybe it's a, uh, maybe you are a new user that depends upon whether you have already visited the website or not i hope that is also clear what is session I hope guys you have um, uh, enjoyed this video. If you like the video and the content which I am providing from this YouTube channel, if you really like, like the channel, subscribe the like the video and subscribe the channel and also comment. I will meet in the next video with the next coding question. Till then, bye bye and take care.